Yes, yes. Thank you once again, my viewers. I once again welcome you to Jenny on a journey talk show. And uh, I will be talking about the importance of a man helping the woman to nurture the dream or the goals that they have and not to kill them. I want to talk to men. Most men in marriages know very well that every human being was created with the dreams. Everyone has a dream. Everyone has got a purpose on this earth. We have got goals to achieve. And when you marry, you should know that the woman you are marrying has got goals, has got dreams to achieve in life. There are desires of the heart of that particular human being. And you must respect the person. Do not kill what is in them. The great giant in them, the lion in them must manifest. In most families, men tend to be on the upper side. They are superior and the women are inferior. And that alone suppresses the dreams of the woman. And we all know, it is said, when you educate a woman, you are educating a whole society, a whole nation. Because women have got big hearts. Women reproduce. Women are multipliers. That when you find yourself with an educated woman in your house, or you get to know each other when she is at a certain level of education, it is your duty to take the position of a destiny helper to ensure that this person achieves the level of education that they require in life so that they can pursue their dreams to the latter. In our society today, I know most men can say that if you educate a woman, they get good jobs, then after some time, they depart you. They say you are not their class, you are not their level. But you cannot take all the women and put in one basket. It is dependent on an individual's character. Not all women behave the same. If some were, 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 were meant not to stay in the marriage, it's not applying to every woman. So men, you should not put all the women in one basket and say that if you educate a woman, then the woman will leave you and say you are not his class. Though it happens, but not with every woman. We have seen many women becoming supporters of their husbands in families. They support financially even if they are earning more than the husband. But they don't announce outside there that they are supporting their husbands financially. The family is a unit. Whatever you spend in the family should not be known by outsiders. Actually, the Bible says that a wise woman builds her own house with her hands and a foolish one destroys. So I don't call the ones that say they will, the husbands are not their class and then they quit the relationship. I don't call them foolish. But it is lack of wisdom. In other words, in simple terminology, in a layman's language I can say it is lack of wisdom. Because the Bible is very specific. 
if you are wise enough you will use the potential that your husband has enabled you to acquire educationally spiritually or financially you should use it to reciprocate and help the family support the husband where he is low so i want to encourage all the men don't kill the dreams of your wives or your partners nurture those dreams help them to stand up on their two feet help them to stand out and to become individuals that are respected in the society actually women are helpers in marriages they are helpers they are coming to help the man in what the man is already doing and the man should reciprocate by also supporting this person to achieve her dreams when she achieves her dreams when you are in this marriage you will become stronger spiritually financially materially physically emotionally and even socially so don't be self-centered and know that it is only you who should be greater all people were created to be great actually when the when the bible talks about god created man it does not mean the sex that the feminine is not part of this word man so we are all equal before god and we should know that god wants us to stand out and to represent him we are all superior before him nobody is inferior so don't beat your wife emotionally to suppress their dreams when you suppress the dreams of the woman you it is like you are putting a lot of load on your back you are creating baggages you are creating much work for you to do you should simplify the work by elevating her to a level that you can support each other when you are down she raises you up when she is down you raise you raise her up financially materially emotionally in every area of aspect of life we should support each other so men take note that women are very important women have got a big heart a woman can be earning lesser than a man and you find that the woman spends her money wisely and it grows if you can give i want to give you a living example if you give you a woman 1000 the woman will budget with this money effectively and if this money is given to the man to budget with you will find that it is it will only satisfy the man alone and may not spread out may not be spread out to help other people so women are naturally multipliers whatever you put in their hands multiplies so what you give the woman she multiplies it and gives it back to you if you give her education she will ensure that she does her level best to stand out and to lift up your name all the glory will come back to you that you educated a woman the same woman if you give her problems she will receive it with her two hands multiply it and give it back to you when it is given back to you it will be hell you gave her a problem she gives you back hell you give her peace she gives you a conducive environment for survival so watch out what you give to a woman watch out and select the words you use when you are talking to a woman and i will encourage every man in this video my encouragement to you is that support your women educationally let them achieve the highest level of education that they desire to have nobody nobody on earth desires to be a lesser person 
because God created everyone equally. Nobody was created to be a lesser person. Today, if you go to a nursery where there are newborns, they are all naked and they all look the same. They are equal. They are given an equal platform to start life. Nobody was born with anything in his hands or her hands. God brings us on earth with empty hands. And now we are supporters of each other. Because iron sharpeneth iron, the husband should sharpen the woman and the woman should sharpen the man so that we become greater and greater and represent the kingdom of God. Remember all things we do, we do to glorify the name of the Lord because he created us to be his ambassadors here on earth. And God is watching the talents you've been given, how you are using them to be of great importance to other people. Use what you have to help others. Everything you acquire on this earth is not meant for you. It is meant for other people. The knowledge you have, use it to change a life. The best legacy you can live is in the life of a human being. And if you are entrusted with a human being in your life, you are a man, you are entrusted with a wife to be submissive to you. Ensure this person gets the best of you to become a somebody in the society. Change a life. Because before God gave you what you have, he first of all prepared you. He did something in you. Then he is doing something through you, which means he's doing something. He is using you to change a life. And then he now rewards you. So the reward is the last thing. So these three things work in support of each other. God will prepare you, which means he's doing something in you preparing you then he does something through you using you as a conduit to bless others and then now he rewards you god's work rewards if you support a life you are planting a seed in the kingdom of god and god will surely reward you and men the more you support your wife the more she prays for you and the prayer of women touches the heart of god the secret is support them and they will stand with you in prayer. They are best intercessors. When a woman prays, peace is assured, success, prosperity, everything that is in man's heart that the man desires is achieved. So support your women without any condition, unconditionally, freely given, freely give. Use your money to pay their school fee. Use your knowledge to tell them what they need to know. They may look inferior before you because you, you may be much educated. But I want to tell you that if you share what you have with her, you will become greater. A cup can only be refilled when it is emptied. But when you are full and you are not giving out, then there is no refilling. If you want to be refilled and run over and overflow, then be a giver. Give what you have. Give that knowledge. Share that knowledge that you have. We should be the teachers. We are the priests of these houses. You should teach your wife. Have a session where you just sit. Teach her what she needs to know. Tell her what you know that she needs to know. Do not keep things to yourself. Don't enrich the grave. Don't go to the grave with the knowledge that you have. Share it. She may be looking for knowledge elsewhere, yet she, you have what she needs. So be a blessing in the life of your wife. And women, you should also reduce the act of flying away once you have been elevated 
to a level where you are now independent, which means you are financially stable. Don't imagine of taking off. Stick with the man that have removed you from that level where you are to the next level because he is the one that knew you when you were nothing he took all he had to stand with you and to support you love them even after achieving what you wanted to achieve in life stick in that marriage stay put unless the marriage is chaotic unless your life is in danger but I beseech you in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit when you are elevated as a woman by your husband stay put support the husband support the family don't take off we are human beings and that is why you see of late all over the world when such things happen the man has got feelings he may go to an extent of even destroying the lives of the innocent family members because of one act that you the woman did and men when you do it to your woman when you support them to achieve their dreams do not look for glory don't desire to be glorified by your wife let glory go back to the father let glory go back to god the creator he is the one that gives us the ability to create wealth it is not by power nor by might but it is by his spirit that enabled every human being to reach where they are so when you support any individual in your family to attain a certain level of pedigree don't desire to be glorified God is a jealous God when you desire to be glorified God can decide to take away everything that is in your hands so love your wife support your wife and give them the best nataka ni nene neno moja wanaume musiue ndoto za mabibi zenu musiue ndoto za wanawake wenu nurture them until they become a reality and god will bless you thank you once again see you next time as i pray for those families to excel in jesus name amen <music>